Tonight, on the eighth day of the 57th BFI London Film Festival, in partnership with American Express, we are on the red carpet for the American Express gala presentation of Philomena. But first, we look at Don John, the directorial debut from actor Joseph Gordon-Levitt, and the title chosen for this year's Laugh Gala. I don't watch too many movies. The Pretty Woman, The Pretty Man, I mean, they drive off into the sunset. Everyone knows it's fake. I love movies like that, I yeah. know. Great. But they watch it like it's real life. Oh. Baby. What are you doing? I was just reading emails. No, you weren't. You know, I had the idea for a while of a Don Juan type of character who would watch uh, a lot of pornography and compared with a princess type of character who would watch a lot of romantic Hollywood movies. Um, I was sort of looking for how to tell the story. And uh, it was actually while I was on, uh, on the job 50-50, working in that sort of character-based comedy, that I had the idea to do Don John as, as a comedy. And, and, uh, but the kind of comedy that doesn't necessarily come from just jokes and gags, but comes from you know, relating to the human beings in the story. Oscar-winning documentary filmmaker Alex Gibney was on hand to tell us about his new documentary, The Armstrong Lie. The only person that can, um, that can actually start to let people understand what, what the true narrative is, is me. Because we haven't heard it yet, is the, is, is, is the truth. This is a film about Will, uh, and he, here this guy at the age of 38 was coming back to cycling. Well, we finished the film, I, uh, and, and we were thinking about when to release it, when uh, Floyd Landis came forward, and another one of Lance's teammates, Tyler Hamilton, came forward, and then there was a federal investigation into Lance Armstrong for criminal activities. Okay, that was enough. We decided to put the film on hold until some of this played out. But some of the material that we had sought to look at at the beginning now became more important to us. It wasn't going to be a film about a comeback story. It was going to be a film that was going to be more along the lines of things I'd done in the past. It was going to be, at the end of the day, anatomy of a lie. And finally, the American Express gala, Philomena. Based on the true account of Philomena Lee, who was forced to give up her child for adoption, this moving and poignant story was adapted for the screen by Steve Coogan and directed by Stephen Frears. They said that you had abandoned him as a baby. I did not abandon my child. I met him. Where? At the White House. Did you remember anything he said? Hello. 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 Might have been high. Oh, Martin. Uh, well, I, I, I read an article in the Guardian newspaper four years ago, online, when I was in New York, and I found it very moving. And then I optioned Martin Sixsmith's book. And, and really, I wasn't quite sure what the story was going to be, but I, there was a photograph that went alongside the article, and, and, and Philomena and, and Martin were sat together on a bench, and they were both laughing. And the story was very tragic, and the photograph seemed to be at odds with the, with the content of the article, and, and that intrigued me. My friend Christine Langan of the BBC started talking to me about it and got me. And you just read something and get hooked, really. It's like falling in love. I was a bit apprehensive about the book at first because I didn't want the book to be... I said, no, I don't think I'll have it published. And then I, um, I changed my mind and I said, maybe if I tell my story, we'll have a lot of other Irish ladies. I never in a lifetime ever thought Judy Dench, we got on so well. We laughed a great deal. We laughed a lot. And it was wonderful to meet her because if you're going to play somebody, you know nothing, you see it on the script, but if you actually have the joy of, you know, I couldn't meet Elizabeth I or Queen Victoria or even Iris Murdoch, but I did meet Philomena. Stephen is able to make films that have substance and can deal with weighty subject matters, but not in a portentous or overbearing way. I want people to know about her, and I hope we've been really true to her. For more festival content, visit us on the BFI player at player.bfi.org.uk.